you are trying to lose weight, eat healthy, or just avoid gluten, there is no need to give up your favorite chocolate chip cookies for life. I'm going to show you today how to make healthy chocolate chip cookies that are gluten-free and that will not cause your scale to spike up either. The cookies that I'm making today are using buckwheat flour and almond flour. I will start by melting about a third cup of coconut oil in the microwave. Coconut oil is full of healthy fats that can actually help improve brain function, they can help with weight loss, and they have a lot of other documented and researched benefits. I love using buckwheat flour because it's super high in protein, it's not high in carbs and it doesn't raise your blood sugar quickly. It's also a gluten-free option for those of you who are sensitive to gluten. Almond flour, on the other hand, is a nut flour, which means it's full and loaded with omega-3s and healthy fats, lots and lots of protein. Instead of using regular white sugar, I'm using maple syrup. And even though maple syrup is still a sweetener, it doesn't cause as a big spike of blood sugar as white sugar does. And it has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it because it's not as refined as regular sugar. And so the body doesn't deal with it as a toxin. You can also start getting yourself used to accepting things that are less sweet. So every time you do those cookies, you can reduce the amount of maple syrup little by little so that you can train your taste buds to accept less sweetness in your food. write in the comments below what is the one dessert that you really find hard to resist because we all have that place of weakness we all have that one thing that we really like and I would like to challenge myself to try to find a healthy alternative for you Make sure that you have your oven preheated at about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. When you put your cookies on the oven, stay close because they need only about 10 minutes in the oven. Now, a lot of people ask me, you know, can we have this every single day? You know, can we have it for breakfast? Can we have it for lunch? How many times can we have it? You know what? I'm not going to tell you exactly how many times you should have it or how many cookies you should have, but I want you to think about this as a treat. I want you to think about this as something you do when you really want to treat. It's not an open invitation to indulge on it every single day because a treat will always be a treat. We are not meant to have a quarter cup of maple syrup and a cup of almond flour every single day. Even when I bake those cookies, I don't make huge amounts. I make enough that would fit for the day for everybody to take, you know, two or three cookies. You know, if you're just eating a handful of almonds, you'll probably eat like 10 almonds and get done with it. When you're eating those cookies, you are getting a much higher amount of almonds. So treat it as a treat. Do not treat it as a bowl of salad. In that way, you will satisfy your cravings without any negative effects. If you start with... sugar cravings and working around it. A lot of times we crave sugar because we are dehydrated and we need to drink some water. A lot of times it's because we're eating unbalanced meals that have too much animal protein and very little raw vegetables to balance that protein. So we end up feeling very heavy after our meals and we feel like we need something sweet to lighten ourselves up. A lot of times it's because of emotional reasons. We 
are trying to avoid pain or seek pleasure through food because we didn't learn any other tools. And so the first thing to do when you're trying to break free from sugar is actually working on why those cravings are so intense. But the second thing is to learn to find alternatives to sugar that are not so addictive because if you tell yourself, I'm gonna eat you know, a cookie just every couple of days, every time you eat a cookie, you'll want another cookie and another cookie because of that addictive power of sugar. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be making more videos to come to help you all stay healthy and lose the weight without deprivation. Leave me a comment if you tried the recipe. I would love to know whether you liked it and if your family enjoyed it. So make sure you leave me a feedback and I'll see you in another episode.